Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I am here with the Raspberry Pi Zero. I'm at a stock clock right now. I have managed to overclock to 1.1 gigahertz. Um, it doesn't make much of a difference, but I will be making a tutorial soon on that. For this demonstration, I just wanted to try some Sega Genesis or otherwise known as Mega Drive games. Now this is uh, the Raspberry Pi Zero. It is the version 1.4 Pi Zero. It has the camera adapter on it. And I'm using RetroPie 3.8. I have a wired PS3 controller connected to the unit now. Let's get right into it. I'm going to test a few games here. First up, Altered Beast. one of the best games ever made seriously if you've never played altered beast you are missing out oh, i was hoping to kick him in the nuggets I need those blue bowls to get my uh, orbs so I can become an altered beast. Oh my gosh, my muscles are growing. Oh, come on. For some reason, I'm not getting. Oh, I thought I was able to kick while I was in, or shoot upwards while I was in beast mode, but I guess I can't. Seems to be running pretty well. No! I'm just having a hard time dodging these. Looks like Zordon from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. All right, start and select to bring you back out into the RetroPie menu. Well, to the last emulator menu that you were using. We will try Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. This is another awesome game. I don't listen to, you know, Michael Jackson or anything like that, but I have always loved this game. I have to say this and Altered Beast are two of my favorite Sega games. Well, Sega Genesis games.
let me turn this music completely off because they will give me a copyright strike. Get off me. I want none of that. I gotta save these little kids. So that's my little special attack spent. Oh. oh yeah. Come on. Go up the stairs. Why can't I get up there? There we go. Gosh. Get off me. I already told you about that. Oh, man. Dude just broke that stick in half. He's about to beat the crap out of me. Sweet. Awesome pinball machines. Where where's that Where's the other one at? In one of these doors, I think, right? Yeah, this is running pretty good. Should have remembered. I should have checked all these. Oh yeah. Dodged a bullet on that one. Oh man, my little monkey man. What's his name? Chimpies? Bubbles. I totally forgot that happened. Little bit of a freeze there. Um, good lord. Get up out of here. Sweet. Okay, so that game runs very well. I had a freeze there when all of the uh, characters were about to come on screen. Other than that, it ran pretty good. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I've been super busy and I haven't had time to make a lot of videos. I have a bunch coming. I don't even know what the date is today. I'll upload a few tonight, but May 29th, Sunday, I am free and I will upload a bunch of videos. I'm trying to get the Daphne emulator up and running, having a hard time finding the correct ROM versions of uh, Dragon's Lair. Now I tried N64 on the uh, Pi Zero here and it runs horrible. Even with a 1.1 gigahertz overclock. I tried to get it higher. Um, now the CPU is pretty much overclocked already. You know, to one gigahertz. This is the same CPU that came in the Pi 1. This has 512 megs of RAM also. And it comes out of the box at one gigahertz. You can get it to, oh, 1.1. But 100 megahertz is not going to make big a big difference. Just wanted to try it. You know, a few simple emulators. Um, me, myself, when I think of old school game emulation, I think of the SNES, NES, ZX Spectrum, Amiga, stuff like that. I personally am not worried about PlayStation 1 emulation, N64 emulation, or Dreamcast emulation. I know a lot of you are, and we will test that on the Raspberry Pi 3 with the RetroPie 3.8. But for now... 
you know, old school, like the Vectrex and stuff like that. That's what I love. And I got to say, guys, if you, any of you are watching this and you can get your hands on a ZX Spectrum, I'm from the state, so I call it a ZX Spectrum. I know a lot of people call it a Specky or a ZX Spectrum. I want one really badly. I want a non-working unit so I can modify it and add a Raspberry Pi 3 to it. I would still love to get the... You know, the ZX Spectrum or ZX Spectrum 48K with the membrane um, keyboard. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, console, and I really love it. So this is Streets of Rage 2. I was going on a little bit there, but I really want to get one. Um, yeah, this Genesis, this is running very well. You should really have no problems running old school games on the Pi Zero. Anything from the ZX Spectrum up to SNES. Now I'm going to test a lot of emulators on this because I really think... Well, I know that when supply is up there, we'll be able to get these boards for $5.00. Right now, you can get them for about $9 with a HDMI adapter and a USB adapter. So, it's, I mean, it's worth it. I, in my opinion, it's its worth the $9 to uh, get one of these boards and be able to play these old school games on here. If you have a Pi 3, do I recommend getting a Pi Zero? Uh, I mean, if you have the extra funds, yeah, I do. I actually, I recommend doing it. It's not going to be as powerful, but it's fun to use and they're super tiny. So if you want to do any kind of project, like putting this inside of some, you know, a Game Boy or something, this would make it much easier. Just the size itself is amazing. Okay, so this was Streets of Rage 2. And we'll try Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Hyperstone Heist. So I guess in Europe it's Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Let's kick shell. I've always loved Donatello. Oh, man. I gotta get there. We go. I don't know why I was hitting the other button. Every other game I just played used the same button for the uh, attack. Coming out with the swords. Oh, I got a bow staff. Alright. Jump kick time. And I keep doing it still. Yeah, no problems at all. And I'm using the stock core. I'm not sure which core this is. When I exit here, I'll find out. But um, you shouldn't need to change cores. I have had no problems. I've tried tons of games for Sega Genesis or it's known as the Mega Drive in Europe. And I've had no problem playing these games. Oh my 
God, I always hated these. Pull out the Omega Red Whips. Start, select, and most emulators will bring you back. Let me just see what core this was. You can do that by pressing A when you see this little menu. And we are on IR Pi Pico Drive. And there's, so we are on LR Pico Drive. There's also an LR Genesis Plus GX and a D Gen. Um, I haven't tried these two cores here, but the Pico Drive, if that's how you pronounce it, runs most of these games perfectly. Everything that I have tested, at least. Well, that's it, guys. That's the um, Mega Drive or Sega Genesis running on the Raspberry Pi Zero with RetroPie 3.8. Thanks for watching. If you have any requests, please let me know. Like I said before, N64 and PlayStation run like crap on this, so there's really no point right now. But if you do really want to see it running, if there's a big enough demand, let me know and I will make a video. Like always, thanks for watching.